Woo! <laughs> Last year. I did Never again. I still regret it. No, yeah, yeah. Jamaica. I regret it. Sure, it's years. fine. Wait, who here went to Cabo and enjoyed it? I did it. I went to the dentist in Cabo and they fixed it. You went to the dentist in Cabo? <laughs> and they fixed it. <laughs> Holy right. shit. Like, that's amazing. That's a productive vacation. Yeah. <laughs> I've just been meaning to get it done and this is, this is the chance. Well, the tooth broke. I had to go. I understand. Who here, uh, uh, raise your hand again if you went to Cabo and you really enjoyed it and you don't mind me asking why. Why did you enjoy going? Food tour. Oh, food tour. Is that what you did as well? Food tour? So I missed the food tour. Well, okay. I, I could have gone on a pirate ship and gone whale watching. And that sounded... At the same time. At the same time. <laughs> yar. And the problem was, that sounded like a really fun idea when I lived on land. But now that I've become a ship dweller, <laughs> the idea of getting off this ship via a tiny ship and then getting on an old ship, it seemed like too much. <laughs> How can any ship stack up to this ship? Right! That's the point. This is the world's, and as far as I'm concerned, best and greatest ship. And biggest! I hope no way it's not. Uh, but. Let me tell you my favorite thing about this ship. Is that my favorite thing is there is a pool on the roof of a ship which is on the ocean. It's like take that, it's God. Like the little ocean has a little hat. I like that there's a basketball court on top of the boats. On top of the pool, on top of the boat. And somebody surely must have gone. Well, I don't think we need this. And people went, No, you don't understand luxury. And so they put netting around it. Um, so they didn't lose their basketball because that would be a huge bummer. Uh, <laughs> well, I went mini golfing on the top of a cruise ship and completely knocked a ball into what? the ocean. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. I played frisbee on top of a cruise ship. <laughs> what? I, I'm just now in my head thinking of all the terrible trampolines on top of a cruise ship. Well, with all that netting, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's that's like true. Small. I I had a weird kind of anxiety uh, when we were at Cabo. I was so weird. I kept asking Paul. <laughs> Cam boss. Um, so I kept asking Paul, like, what happens if you get left behind? What happens if you get left behind? And I was so worried about it. And then I was standing on the ship, my feet firmly planted upon the ship, looking at Cabo, and I thought, man, I hope I don't get left behind. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a concern for me at that point? And then I thought about it, and I realized what it was. Back in the early days of the game EverQuest, sometimes you would be standing on the ship and you wouldn't go with it as it moved into the next zone and then you'd just be in the ocean. And that is what I was afraid would happen. That I would be stuck standing still as the boat moved out from under me. That's not a concern. You'll be fine. Now I've planted it in your head, so I feel terrible. <laughs> You're going to be okay. Now I can't stop thinking about it. I know, right? Isn't that a terrifying dog? Suddenly you got un unstuck from the gym. And you're like, Whoa! I clipped for the deck on the <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, I'm getting nervous talking about it. Please tell me we're ready. No. No. Who's going first? Here's what we're going to do. So this is going to be the process. We're going to announce who is up currently. And then we are going to announce who is on deck. Please be ready to go. Um, maybe we'll call this we'll be over here, here. Like the, the staging area. Right? Be ready to roll on. Because we don't know if it's going to be five minutes, two minutes, three minutes, whatever. So be ready to go. Confirm your techniques. Tell us how to pronounce your name. Yeah. If that's important to you. Or we can mispronounce it in a comic sort of fashion, if that's also your thing. Um, <laughs> we, we are also probably going to default to they, them pronouns. If you would <laughs> like something other than that, please let us know. Or I might just say, and the next monkey, and that sounds weird. No, I'm not going to do that. The next person? The next monkey, if that is their real name. <laughs> the next performer. You know what? That doesn't make a lot more sense. Do you want to come host? Because they already are doing better than me. That wasn't a snarky thing. That was a self-doubt moment. And at any point, anybody else wants to help me out, this is my first time hosting an open mic. A lot of new experiences on the cruise. Oh, open mic eagle. I just put that together. Oh, yeah. It's a pun. Oh, yeah. All right. Here's the thing. I have learned uh, that the, this cruise, I think any performance on this cruise works best when it is uh, an exchange between audience and host and not just, I am giving to you. 
or rather you also give it back to me. And I just want to remind you of that. This is the sing along later, and I need all of you to sing louder than me. So thank you very much. As you can hear, <coughs> we are I've been I've been a little excited this cruise. <laughs> well, it seems like we are ready to go. We're getting yeah. getting a thumbs up. All right. Okay. So up first is Dave McOwen, and after that is Joey. So Joey. Yes, Joey Mariana. Yes, yep. that's all right. You're on deck. 